Hey guys, so I got a quick tutorial for you today in Godot. Um, I'm going to show you how to implement aim assist in uh, your first person shooter or your third person shooter game. Um, in this case, I have a first person shooter set up. Uh, so let's go ahead and get cracking. So for a lot of uh, Godot users, you probably use mouse and keyboard exclusively, but uh, I know that you'll want to uh, probably also add controller support. And frankly, I know that Personally, my con my uh, my control uh, my controller skills are not up to snuff uh, without aim assist. So uh, I'll show you how to do that today. So I'm going to walk you through my script here. That is for my uh, player right here, and let's make sure that we see everything. Uh, so I have everything under physics process. I know this is bad because of uh, like uh, you know you can't go above 60 FPS essentially, um, which is uh, crucial for any sort of uh, fine-tune aiming, but I'll keep it like this and think it's supposed to be fixed in, in uh, Godot 4 as well. So, uh, just to bear with me on this, but uh, yeah, so I have some basic ground logic. Uh, I have a ground ray that points down towards the ground, make sure it's uh, grounded, um, and I get the... I calculate my gravity based off the ground normal or just going down, period. So, uh, you probably have seen this before, but this is to uh, make sure that your character can climb slopes and stuff. All right, and so now uh, this is basically the rest of this is locomotion. So I have a look input uh, function that will return a vector to of my uh, my look axes on my right stick, and then I have a same thing set, sort of thing for my move input, which is on the left stick. So that's kind of walking you through that. Um, and then the very next thing is aim assist here. So this is all I do for aim assist. All right. So I have in my uh, 3D view, I have a look ray, which is right here. Uh, hopefully YouTube compression doesn't completely murder this, but it's looking straight ahead and it's aligned with the camera. I also have the, uh, for my FPS controller here, I have a uh, camera helper, which basically controls the, uh, vertical rotation of the camera and make sure that everything's good to go on that and I don't have you know if you want to animate your camera shaking or something like that you can do that without having to worry about calculating that in uh, when you uh, you know are, are looking around so keep that in mind um, so I have a look ray pointing directly where my camera is pointing and if that is colliding I tell another ray which uh, this can be either a ray uh, so here's my Here's my aim assist ray. Uh, this can be an array, or it can be something that has any sort of uh, rotation. So you can't just use a spatial node, which kind of uh, it's kind of unfortunate, um, or, or uh, specifically a, a, a position 3D node. Um, and then I prefer using a ray cast so that you actually have a visual indication of where it's pointing. And that's because it's uh, it's going to be rotating towards the uh, the looking the look target over here, and so. Uh, once that, you know, uh, once that has, a uh, right, yes, right here. So once that's looking at the, uh, the look rays collider, which is basically what it's, what's, what it's hitting, it's looking at the origin of that object. Um, and this is just kind of an offset that helps it because, uh, you know, sometimes you might have some mismatch between what is, you know, uh, transform dot, uh, forward or, or vector three dot forward for one object versus another, and so I had to adjust that. So don't really worry about this line too much. You you will probably have to tweak it for whatever implementation you use. Um, and then one thing I do uh, if it, is that if I am actually looking at a, an enemy player, I will divide my looking vector, which is you know once again this is for my my user input uh, on the right stick. Uh, I will divide that by 1.5 just so that it kind of slows down a little bit, and, and that's where you get that kind of uh, uh, this motion here, where it kind of stops for just a split second and then resumes, you know, at full speed. So that's kind of what's going on there. Let me make sure I'm zoomed in for you guys. Uh, and then for the the uh, player models or rotation, which is uh, in, under the kinematic body. I basically uh, interpol uh, interpolate the angle. Um, make sure you use lerp angle and not just lerp, because that can um, that'll help you avoid a lot of headache with uh, translating that. But uh, uh, we, we uh, interpolate our rotation dot y 
and look at our aim assist rotation dot y. Remember, our aim assist is looking directly at the uh, the other collider. So um, you want to make sure it's kind of slowly looking towards that. Um, and you might have to add your own rotation to it, you know, because this is a child of the uh, player right here. If you look at my aim assist ray, it's a child of player as opposed to uh, as opposed to a child of uh, cam help. So uh, you'll want to make sure that you have everything, you know, all the logic down on that. Uh, and then as soon as that's done, you want to also um, interpolate your camera's rotation uh, to match the uh, aim assist rotation. And in this case, I had to make it inverted. Just sometimes, you know, it's, it's going to be a little bit nastier than you want it to be. But um, considering that this is only five lines of code to basically implement aim assist, it's, you know, I think it's a pretty good trade-off. Um, and then otherwise, I just set my aim assist rotation to zero. Um, that's just, you know, default. You know, I don't want uh, it being everywhere. You know, I, I want it to be nice and clean. And then after that, I basically have my uh, my other, you know, rotation logic, which is, you know, if if we're not hitting anything, then this would this would be what what executes is, you know, basic rotation. You know, hopefully you, you know how to do this. Um, and then, you know, you clamp your X rotation to in between uh, 90 and uh, negative 90 and 90. So now when we play this, this is what happens. So the, this red object here is the uh, enemy player. I know it's a uh, you know very very complex here, uh, but as soon as that that look ray collides with it, you see how it kind of snaps into position, and I can kind of move around a little bit, and I can escape that if I you know hold down my my right stick long enough. Uh, I wish I had a visual input of my my right stick, but um, but yeah, you should be able to get the picture of what's going on here. It's just kind of slowly tracking towards the center. And then it will also slow down your 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 look view, you know, your 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 uh, your look sensitivity essentially, um, and uh, yeah, and this still works relatively okay with uh, movement as well, um, and so you'll see that it also kind of track with just a little bit with movement. I know it's kind of probably hard to uh, visualize uh, via video, but uh, in game you you'll you'll feel it. So. But yeah, you know, this is about about five lines of code to really get aim assist working on on uh, in Godot. So hopefully this is useful for your project. Um, if you have any other questions or any suggestions for improvement, please let me know. Uh, anyway, have a have a great one, everybody.